Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 92.9. He's at 30, stun 6, 5. He fights out of Manchester top team and IMA and hails from Leeds by way of pleasure, Poland, Mateusz, the Polish lumberjack, Dutchman. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 94.9. He's 32, stun 6-4. He fights out of H. Mac in the nest and held from Abby Moore, Jamie Jambo McDonald. Your referee, Mr. Simon Stavitsky. Our co main event, ladies and gentlemen, this one a pro light heavyweight contest. Matthias Dujman, 1 0, fighting out of the red corner, representing IMA and Manchester top team. He's in the black IMA shorts trimmed with the blue and the white as he takes on HMAC Inverness's Jamie McDonald. The purple progress, 2-0. and oh. A Very tough weight. Uh, striker versus grappler. Yeah, you're gonna say it's oh, a, it's weight a cut tough weight cut for the young man from Scotland. Yeah. Although he is sporting just the best Magnum Tash ever. Yeah, he did miss the weight by uh, 1.5 kilo uh, and they agreed to fight. But yeah, this is a classic strike of the grappler. We've got Mateus, who's got a, a, a massive background in Thai, has, has had lots of success. And then we've got Madonna, who, if he gets on top of that, is just an absolute savage. And we've seen that in the Almighty Cage when he when he beat Robbie Kennedy. Yeah. Once he can, and that's going to be that's the tale of this fight. Dusmal can keep the fight at range, hammer away with those shots. He's already landed a few stinging leg kicks as well as. Some good, strong punches as well, and he's going to pick his man apart. I wonder if the cardio will play a factor as well with the with the weight miss. If that will come in later on in the fight, that it might get you know McDonald might get tired. I don't know. Uh, we haven't seen that in the past. Well, he, but his last fight was the first round. If he ever. doesn't start, if doesn't start checking those leg kicks. They'll whether it's cardio or just yeah. the fact that the body don't work anymore. He didn't like that look. No, he's on still right on his trip down. That's what he was hoping for. He got the takedown. He's gone straight into side control. So can, can Mateus get back to his feet? This is what we need to see. Absolutely. And again, the first 90 seconds of this fight, Dushma was essentially just picking apart. Especially the legs. But well. yeah, absolutely working the legs. But closes distance once. The first attempt, he's got him down, and now he's in side control. And oh, sorry, that's side the half guard. <laughs> And the cardio is probably a little easier to manage when you're on top. top. Yeah. Looking and trying to push away. But we know that Mateus is training the Manchester top team and IMA. We know IMA is predominantly known for its jiu-jitsu. Yep. Uh, with Liam Can, so we'd like to think that you know we would know that he'd be working on that. It's just whether we can get it back to get him back to the feet. Dushmal getting to his hip, trying to scramble. Yeah. He's going to keep McDonald honest. Has he got good of an arm? It's hard to see if he's got a, a possible good now he hasn't. Oh, oh there's some strikes. big clubbing shots coming in there, but Mateus wore them well. Yeah, it looks like he needs to get a grip of something, does Mateus. Uh, he's, trying to get a grip, he's trying to get a grip of the arm to stop nice elbows. The elbows from the bottom. Yeah. We, we're into the pro ranks now, so elbows, of course, are allowed. But you just get the sense that if McDonald can find that position and posture, that he's, he could unleash some real damage. But yeah, he's not done it yet, though. No. And he, and he needs to. He'll, you know, he's got control, but damage, the leg kicks is the most damaging thing so far. Oh, trying to As step over on into, into the, the... Oh, he's got a good position here now. He's full mounted now. On the back. Mateus Hooks in, oh, flattened out, choke. under the chin. Not yet. It's not there yet. And there's yeah. the tap. Uh, what a shame. And that's what you do. You take. He sub survived those positions that weren't for him. He got the takedown. He worked. He took his minute and a half to get there. And he earned 
the submission, and he's pumped about it. Yeah, well, it's a big win. Mateus is a big prospect. It wasn't going his way. No. Mateus needs to work on, on, on the ground. He needs to work on the takedown defense on the ground. You come into MMA from a striking background, and that's what people are going to do. They're going to they're going to use they're going to grapple you. They're going to they're going to take you down and put you on the floor because you don't when you when you're a Thai fighter you don't fight on the floor. Three and zero oh now for Jamie McDonald. Yeah, he looked good. He, he needs to work on make sure he doesn't have the issues with his weight again. But he did look good. And uh, to, to be. <laughs> He was getting a, he was getting a little bit picked apart to start to open that round. Yeah, he was. The leg kicks were brutal. But one one little mistake, one little moment where the distance closed. Jamie McDonald earns the submission victory. And that should be a happy team in the corner there. Let's Mr. Sefcon make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 20 seconds of the first round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by rear naked choke, Jamie Jambo Madonna. Please show your appreciation for Mateusz Sorry, sir. I'm here with your winner. Was this a fight that when you got into the cage, was this a striker versus a grappler affair in your mind, or was this two MMA guys? I don't know. Let me get a drink of water. Fucking hell. I feel like a flamingo. My left leg's fucked. Uh, I was, I was shy. I shaved myself before every fight. I got the opportunity to fight this guy, and then I got an injury, so I kind of got put back. I knew he was dangerous. Very experienced striker. But fucking I'm experienced too. You know, I had weather storm, my leg's dead. I could have done three rounds of that. I felt right hand hit him when I was on the ground. He was right to move away, because two more of them is out. I feel good. Striker if he's striker on the feet. Hey, striker if he grappled on the feet. And striker if he could strike it on the ground. Does that make sense? Makes a little bit of sense, and I'm certainly not going to argue with you. What's next for you? Three and zero oh now. Light, light heavyweight is. It's not the most stacked division in in the UK, so the route up and qu is is quick. What do you want next? Right now, I'm gonna. I've got a son. Uh, I've worked really hard for everything that I've got. I don't mean to be fucking upset. Cause it's gay, but fucking, we got messes and shit, and I never do shit. I'm always fucking away training or spend the money on that thing, pointless shit, but it's not really pointless training and stuff, but I think I owe them a bit of time. Oh, uh, Phoebe and then obviously the wee man. Uh, some time, go and do something with them and then well, get back at end of August or something like that. I wanted to say it was actually nice to see somebody in the cage sporting a, a task that would make Magnum PI blush. Congratulations on a big win. We look forward to seeing you fight again. Can I also say a big, big massive shout out to all my sponsors? Uh, on the front of my t-shirt. These guys aren't just sponsors, they're close friends of mine, and they have been since day one. So a massive, massive thank you. Uh, not only for helping me out financially, but just I can phone each one of these guys and say, put my head's up my arse, my head's down in the dumps, and every single one of them fucking gives me a hand. So, And then also my team, main, main training and coaches, Ross himself. Big Geo's moving up, so things are going to get a bit more scary. If he's uh, training with me all the time, and then we've got yeah. Cheney Woodla. I don't think it's his real name, but <laughs> it's Cheney, uh, the Woodman. Thank you very much. Great show again, Thank you. ladies and gentlemen. Cheney McDonald.